So consider these gates. The first one is the NOT gate. So what is the NOT gate? We are going to use a buffer gate and a NOT gate. NOT symbol uh, with the buffer gate and this is representing a NOT gate. So even if you shift the bubble like this, even if you shift the bubble like this, it still represents a NOT gate. Now, <coughs> if you have a NOR gate, this representing a NOR gate. So what is a NOR gate? We are going to use a OR gate <coughs> and then we are going to use NOT after an OR gate. So it is X plus Y whole complement represents an OR gate that if you apply De Morgan's law on this, if you apply De Morgan's law on this, then you can get it X complement dot Y complement. So this the same function can also be represented by an AND gate, but in the AND gate you are going to use two NOT gate or you can say two uh, bubbles to represent the same function. In the same way, if you have a NAND gate, then the NAND gate is x dot y whole complement. It can be represented by x complement plus y complement. This same function can be represented if we shift these bubbles to here. That is x complement y complement. So we can get x complement plus y complement. So in the same way, you can see if you have a NAND gate like this, if you have a NAND gate, if you shift this bubble, then this bubbled OR gate will be called as uh, it will be equivalent to NAND gate. In the same way we have an NOR gate. For example, here we have an NOR gate. If we do shift these bubbles, if we shift these bubbles like this here, so bubbled, this is AND gate, so bubbled AND gate is equivalent to the NOR gate. In the same way if we have an AND gate, for example, here we have an AND gate and we are shifting this bubble, then you can see this AND gate. If we shift this bubbles, so this becomes an OR gate. It becomes an OR gate, an OR gate. In the same way, we have an OR gate. For example, here we have an OR gate, and then uh, we we bubble this OR gate. So, if we shift this, then it becomes again. We are going to get this. So this is just right. Uh, just I have written in two uh, two ways. For example, here, uh, like this, I have written like this, right? So you can clearly see what I have written. So. Uh, this is how you can uh, change one gate to another gate. So we are going to use this uh, changes if you for example if you have given a circuit where we have used AND and OR gate if you want to design the same circuit using just by AND gate or by OR gate or by NAND gate only then we are going to use this thing. So I will tell you how we can do this. So next is <coughs> XOR and XNOR shortcuts that means if we do X XOR with X then you are going to get 0. If you do X XOR with X complement then you are going to get 1. If you do X XOR with 1 then you are going to get X complement. If you do X XOR with 0 then you are going to get X. So you can how can you uh, remember it? Uh, you can see whatever I have written here from top to bottom I have written the opposite here. So it is X X complement 1 0 X X complement 1 0. Okay, so in the same way you can uh, check this one. If you do x x nor x, then you are going to get one. If you do x x nor x complement, then you are going to get zero. If you do x x nor one, you are going to get x. If you do x x nor zero, then you are going to get x complement. Right. So uh, you can see uh, here if I have written one zero, then I have written one zero here. If here if I have written x and x complement, then I have written x and x complement here. This is one way of remembering this. Okay. And the next one is if we do x XOR Y whole complement then this is equal to X X NOR Y. If you do X XOR Y XOR Z then it can be written as X X NOR Y X NOR Z. Right. So how this is for odd numbers for example how can we write it if we have X XOR Y XOR Z. X XOR Y XOR Z. So what is this equation you can also uh, uh, open it so it is X complement Y plus X y complement xor z xor z so uh, you can again open it so it is x complement y plus x y complement whole complement uh, dot z plus x complement y plus x y complement dot z complement dot z complement further you can open these brackets to get different equations so if you open these brackets so how can you do this this is uh, assume this is A and this is B so you can apply De Morgan's law on this so it becomes X complement Y complement dot X Y complement 
complement so that is a complement dot p complement dot z plus x complement y z complement plus x y complement z complement so further here also again you can apply de morgan's law so this can be written as x plus y complement dot x complement plus y dot z plus x complement y z complement plus x y complement z complement further this can be written as x dot x complement plus x dot y dot z plus y complement x complement z plus y complement dot y dot z dot z plus x complement y z complement plus x y complement z complement further this is zero and this is also zero so we don't we uh, we don't use them so this equation becomes x y z plus x complement y complement z plus x complement y z complement plus x y complement z complement okay now you can get an x naught even if you take z and common here so it will be x y plus x complement y complement dot z plus you can take this one so in this case you can take uh, you can take z complement as common so inside will be kept getting x complement y plus x y complement z complement and this is this is a complement of x naught so you already know if you do x x or y complement then this is equal to x x naught y so this is representing x x or y if you take a complement of this then this is representing x naught so you can also represent it like x x naught y and this is already representing x naught so you can write it as x x naught y dot z plus x sorry uh, this is representing x x or y so uh, this x x or y is complement of x x naught y so it is x x naught y whole complement so uh, it is x x naught y whole complement dot z complement further you can represent it like x x naught y x naught z so in the same way you can for every odd numbers for example if the number of variables are odd if x y and z are odd and you have x x or y x or z you can also write it as x x naught y x naught z right so this is a simple shortcut now if you have a four variables for example here we have even number of variables for even number of variables if you take a complement then you can write it with the x naught right same way if you get an expression like this if you have x x x or y x or z x or w x or a so how many variables are there 1 2 3 4 5 if number of variables are odd therefore you can also write it as a x or w x nor x x nor y x nor or z right so because the number of variables are number of variables are uh, like this right so you can better way is write writing like this i you I, i still have to tell you whether this operation this x or and x nor associative or not so you can write it as x x nor y x nor z x nor w x nor a so you can write it like this okay so uh, now let us look at how can we uh, uh, implement a sop expression and pos expression so if you are going to implement an sop expression then you are going to implement it using and or realization if you are going to present an pos expression then you are going to present it using or and realization and then you can convert these realizations just to implement the same function using by just by nand gate as well as just by nor gate okay let us look at that 